Last time on Blue Star Man. You and the dark. Take it here. I'm gonna go save the boss at the bottom. Right, I got this. The skis are coming back. What'd you do with the dirt? I defeated them just like I'll defeat you. It's tequila. It's my kryptonite. My one weakness. I want! I want I defeat a blue star man! And now we'll get back to the show. Reporting live at the warehouse, we've just received confirmation that Blue Star Man has entered the premises. Entered the premises. Is this the part of the door? Jake Doll! Jake Doll, how you doing, buddy? No, <laughs> it's, it's the news, actually. Oh, it's the news. I got news for you, New Fairland. You remember Blue Star Man? He's no more. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. I'm the number one supervillain now. It's me. The dirt bag. I'm in the town. I'm in the town. <coughs> you wanna, you wanna go home to three for five? Uh, no, thank you. No. Maybe you can loan me a spin. Sorry, can't can't do that. Hey, you there. Well, there you have it, firsthand. Could this be the end of Blue Star Man? I'm Jess Baldwin for the news. Blue Star Man gone, I don't even feel safe in my own high school. Seems like every other day somebody else got a new fox jacket. And that can't be good. He was a good guy, you know, he's a member of the, he's a member of the community. He went to my niece's dance recital and he was loaded, but he was there in, in body. I don't know if he knew where he was or if he even came on purpose, but we always appreciated it. Come on, buddy, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. I was just all the racket out here. You'll be all right. Is he dead? No, even worse. He's hung over. Oh, all right, well, we can fix this. He needs a feed of scampers and a yellow Gatorade. Let's go. God. Sir, bye. Are you all right or what? He made me drink tequila. He somehow knew I couldn't handle it. You know, a wise man once said to me, sir, he said, Beer before liquor, you've never been sicker. But liquor before beer, you're in the clear. And that's what's wrong, sir. You're on the beer all day. But you can't do it. That's breaking the rules. And, sir, my dreams of a day, bye. When you comes to me with that bottle of tequila and you pours up one shot for yourself and one shot for me and there's no words it's just down the hatch and we knows we knows and Bob's your uncle thanks Alfred sir bye I'm after telling you a million times it's not Alfred it's Mar I'm gonna let that slide because I thought we were having a heart to heart just then anyways whatever what you gotta do, sir, you gotta go out, you gotta get the dart, and two of you gotta go and get that dirt bag. He's a motherfucking blue star man. Oh, St. John's, it's me again, the bad guy that defeated Blue Star Man. Everybody loves Blue Star Man, but he's no more. Hey! Not so fast, dirt bag! It's about time I stopped you and put you with all the other dirt bags. Yeah, and Labrador. But, no. I'm at jail, meet me. Family's from Labrador, bye. I'm sorry about that, man. Boss, you can't stop me. Not with the power of the Newfoundland ugly stick. Easy, bye. I'll defeat you with the power of Michael Ryder. In this hockey stick. And I'll use the power of Brad Gushu. In this curling broom. This 
Thanks for making us miss three for five. Ronnie Ritland and the Skeets. I thought I put ye boys on Bell Island. Bell Island? I don't think so. I went to the Academy of Canada and studied CAC. What? Uh. Then I moved to Fort Mac. Did me apprenticeship. Now I'm a CAC master. Making the skrill. What? Educated Skeets? Now books won't work. They got no weakness. No, Dart. They're not just regular Skeets anymore. They've been to Alberta. They're super Skeets. I'm ready for a scrap. I've been on the kokanee all day. Kokanee? That's a weird beer for a skeet to drink. No, boy, not kokanee to bear your stun shagger. Coke and E, boy. Cocaine and ecstasy. The gear. Bam. Oh, that makes sense. Now, you could fly to Jesus today, Blue Star Man. I got no time for you. I'm here for that dirt bag. Hey, hey, hey. What? What do you mean? Yes, Paul, I'm here to get that streel. He taught up me girlfriend, Roxy Cotton. I'm gonna go over and kick in his face. Yes, boy, Ronnie, stomp him in the guts. Roxy Cotton. Oh, yeah. Listen, Listen Ronnie, Ronnie and the, and the boys, boys, skeets, skeets they're, they're coming, coming back. back. Oh, that's his missus. Yeah, that's right, Blue Star Man. Today I'm gonna let you whack. Cause you'll save Roxy, but next time I see you, you're getting shot like Pac. Sick free saw, Ronnie. Ooh. You can have them, but this isn't over, Ronnie. Not by a long shot. Huh? Who'd be here? Now listen up, dirtbag. There's gonna be three hits. Me hitting you, you hitting the ground, and the ambulance hitting the buck 50 on the outer ring road. Let's get them, boys. I'm erratic, charismatic, and asthmatic, poetic, pathetic, and unethical. But I'm a methodical, son, the parodical, son. You want some? <laughs> well, come and get some. Let me call you McLovin. Call me super bad. Captain this bitch. I put a bun in the rubber. Hit the ground, 100 miles in the rubber. <laughs> oh, that is awful. Well, sir, by you didn't pass out or puke, so you're making some progress. I'm proud of you. What are you at? So it looks like we're gonna have to uh, take up the super skates. Man, now that the Skeets got money, you do realize they're not going to be hanging out at the Village Mall anymore. It's got to be somewhere that's expensive and really skeety. Yeah, and I think I know just the place. There's a local DJ playing downtown, and I heard that there's nothing but Skeets that go. Blue Star Man, Blue Star Man, smoking Skeets like smoke.